often this claim that my language shuts me out, it's just a ruse. It's very easy to discard the language if you don't like it, and then just look at the content of my arguments. It doesn't require any special talent and ability to disregard, to ignore the intemperate language, and then just look and evaluate the argument. Uh, if you read Karl Marx's Capital, and some of you in this room I presume have, it's laced through with intemperate, um, vicious, uh, vituperative language. He calls every bourgeois economist either a cretin or a moron or an idiot or an imbecile. Yeah, that's the language he uses. You can say it's kind of juvenile. But that hasn't stopped economists of first rank, people like Joseph Schumpeter, from recognizing that it's an, extre it's an extremely impressive piece of work. If you take my own book, The Holocaust Industry, by far and away, he was in a class all his own. Uh, the leading authority was Raoul Hilberg, the author of The Destruction of the European Jews. By temperament, um, Hilberg was your almost paradigmatic academic. His book has no adjectives. Literally, there are no adjectives. There are no adverbs. There is very little in the way of colorful description. It's just a blueprint, his book. He also happened to have been a conservative Republican. Uh, he swore by the Wall Street Journal. Uh, when it came to my tenure battle, it was actually quite a surprise that the main supporter of me who really came out swinging was Raoul Hilberg, a conservative Republican who stylistically was the opposite of me. He was the only one, literally, uh, I think I have a copy of the Holocaust industry in my bag, but I won't get enough. He was the only one who we could use as a blurb. I mean, I've got, he, what he said um, was that, um, Finkelstein displays academic courage to speak the truth when no one else is out there to support him. I would say that his place in the whole history of writing is assured, and that those who in the end are proven right triumph, and he will be among those who will have triumphed, albeit, so it seems, at a great cost. 